Welcome back, everybody. I'm Crane Bramp. You're all Brainiacs, and this is episode 14 of Night of the Dead. And you know what? It's going pretty damn good. Today is day seven. Last night's Horde night, we survived fairly easily, although I left a couple of bags over here that I can go grab while I'm talking to y'all. And although it went well, I got to considering, you know, it's day seven, which means that giants should be here day nine, day 10. I don't forget what it is on normal, but it ought to be pretty soon. And giants are going to acquire something way heavier than this, like probably mini guns or something. And to do that, we need to do power. And while I was considering that, I found out that I can actually, you know what, it might even be easier just to show you. So this is a bridge, it's just lumber and wooden planks. You can uh, kind of move it around. You can build stuff on it, but I was messing around and found out it will snap right there and go. Although I can't really reach from right here. Um, it will go all the way to the hotel. And I don't think I can reach it right there either. I think I'm gonna have to go up here, which like changes a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so yeah, we're going to, I think we're gonna move our crafting benches and storage up here. We're gonna redo our, uh, foundations right there. We're going to redo this little section. And yeah, we've just got a lot of building today. So instead of doing quests, today is going to be a building episode. So sorry if you guys are a little bored with building, but we got a lot of stuff to do. So the first thing that we need to do, you know what? The first thing that I need to do is thank you for coming by, spending some time in the community, watching the video and hanging out. And I hope that today is the day that I earn that like and subscribe. So, man, let's get going, man. I'm ready to do this, man. I'm kind of excited today about this. We're gonna do some storage boxes real quick. I did a little bit of testing in between episodes. I found out that I can slam three of these in here if I turn my snap off. So we'll go right there and get just as absolutely as close as I can and you can just barely fit three of these in there. We're going to need those because my inventory is absolutely slammed right now because I've got everything in my inventory that I think that I might need to build everything. So we're going to drop a few things off right here and then I am going to do a whole bunch of deconstruction and construction. So the idea is that this bridge comes across here. I'm going to put a, uh, probably a stair. And then I'm going to redo the foundation so they link up with that. And we'll like come down with another set of stairs or something right here, just a ramp stair. And then I'm going to put all my crafting benches up here. We'll disassemble all those later. Um, I should have enough to do everything and get it built. Then we're gonna uh, we're gonna start over here. We're gonna run foundations all the way out, and uh, then the idea is is that we're gonna take that line right there of the traps. This whole thing's coming down, so I don't know if we're gonna have enough time today to do it. <sighs> I feel like I'm wasting a ton of time sitting here talking about it, but anyway, that's just me. It's 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 not anything about y'all. Uh, I want to destroy this entire base um, because I found out that on top of that wall right there, which is basically indestructible, I can put walls. So I'm going to start way down there. And also that car right there will take foundations on top of it. So that's kind of interesting. So I'm going to build walls all the way down this. And then we're gonna demolish all that. And then on that side of the wall, I'm gonna build another run. So there's gonna be a wall right there, probably with windows so I can see, and then a run on that side. And it's gonna come down there and connect here so they'll have a path and all that. But anyway, it's gonna go all the way up and then we're gonna cut over and come all the way back down. But we're gonna butt it right up against the other one for space and probably put walls in there. 
And, uh, yeah, we'll need a bunch more traps. And then probably tomorrow or the next day, we're going to try to work on power. But anyway, let me get going. And guys, you know, I'm going to speed this up and I will see you where? I'll see you on the other side. boys and girls there it is so um i'm not going to move everything up here right now but we've basically got a couple of uh storage boxes for wood one for stone uh crafting starts over here i kind of don't like this stair step thing but you know it is what it is um and then i have three boxes over here that are going to be for food and animal parts uh i took the uh the crafting bench up in here, we have, uh, I mean, the, the, the stove, whatever you want to call it. My brain's not working today. Anyway, I put this in order of use. I tried to. We've got the equipment bench. We have the material bench. Uh, we have the crafting bench, which still needs to be upgraded. I don't have enough to do it. This is upgraded all the way. We have a new bench called um, the equipment bench. It's where you make wire connectors, chainsaws, and stuff like that. And then finally, we have the uh, electronics bench, which allows us to do, I know it says crafting bench, but this is the electronic bench. Allows us to do uh, fuses, batteries, plugs, motors, cells, varistors, all that good stuff. So if you're wondering about the uh, crafting, we've got the equipment workbench, the mechanical workbench, we've got the material production table, the crafting workbench, the electronics workbench, and then we have the cooking table and we've got a research table down there already. I'll probably move it up here and like, I don't know, stick it, stick it over there in that corner right there or something. So I've also put the two trebuchets back up, which means that I think we have enough. Um, so also this is my bridge over here. Of course, this is going to change. This is just a concept thing uh, to show that it's actually going to work, uh, but you can Come over here, you can shoot down, you can view everything, you can actually repair and upgrade your traps from up here. Uh, and then just run over here, we'll put a couple more trebuchets over here, that'll give us four trebuchets. And then we'll go on and extend this out, and then we've got this down here and all of our crafting benches. So we'll still have this so that they have a path up to us, so that nothing will actually break. And then we'll probably turn this area into spike launchers, perhaps some more trebuchets maybe rail guns in the future. I'm gonna do all of my power back on that side of the hotel. So uh, yeah, let's go on and put, let's go on and finish building. Let's go on and put our walls down and maybe go on and do, what time is it? Um, it's 1400. Yeah, I guess we can just do Horde Night by itself and make this an entire building <laughs> episode. So uh, let me run up here and get some materials. And then I will be right back and we'll start talking about what we're going to do and how we're going to build it. All right, pretty sure that I have everything. This is also going to need to go right here. So I want to get these out of the way. 
All right, so you can put a wall, oops, a wall, not a column, a wall up on top of this wall. Now you gotta turn snapping off. All right, I had to actually build me a set of stairs to be able to get up there. It kept wanting to like lip over this side when I was standing down here. And I didn't want it to lip over just in case it was going to cause any problems with the uh, um, with the foundations. Now we can turn snapping back on and we're going to use windows. I also noticed that I'm almost out of uh, rope, so I'm probably going to have to grab some more. I forgot to grab some. But anyway, we'll go on and finish this out. That is one length of window wall upgraded all the way to concrete. It's 1500. I think we're going to go on and do try to try to get this done. So, uh, yeah, just hold on to your seats and here we go. Complete base redesign day, I guess. do not feel at all confident about this. We've got our com base completely disassembled. All of our traps completely disassembled. So let me go through here and upgrade all of this to tier two. And then we'll talk about traps. We need to do another set of walls down between these two to separate them. Oh man, we got so much stuff to do. And look at that, man, just barely enough trim stone. I did have to go make some trim stone, but just barely enough trim stone to get that done. And let's upgrade these last two. Oh. So this will, by the way, we are gonna find new places to build. I already have a, an idea in mind for season two. And I do wanna note that I could have just as easily built on the ground. And I don't know that it would have made that much difference. So the next uh, the next place that we build, we may build on the ground. But 
anyway, we got this done. Let's talk about our traps. Obviously, obviously we want shredders. I mean, that's just a given. But I think another thing that I want to do, and I've got to figure out how exactly I want to do this. I think I'm going to need... Um, I would like to put the pendulum sideways so that it swings like this. See, the pusher, the pusher will not push bosses off of the thing. And if I can put a couple of... Uh, pendulums here swinging across, I can start basically batting zombies away. Um, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to need for that. Um, I think just a couple of foundations on either side to give it some uh, brace will help, but we're going to have to see. So let's do... I, I have no idea. I've seen this done before. I've never personally done it, so this may not work out the way I think it's going to work out. All right, so this is the idea. They come through here. They get hit. I'm going to put one that way. Uh, let's go on and do two more foundations. So I'm going to do one that direction. Yes, yes, it's just me. It's just me. It's nobody else. It's just me. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> and then we're going to do another pendulum. And whoa, 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 whoa. And we're going to turn it around and have it face the other way. And then right here in front, we are going to do my ever favorite trap as they come up the stairs. The, sh the circular shredder because... Basically, when they come up here and it hits them, it headshots them. And it's a great, great little uh, little trap for early on. And then we're going to put spikes here to catch them and hold them. Um, I do want a shredder on this corner. We've got seven trap uh, machines left. So we'll put that there. Hmm. I tell you what, let's in. What am I missing? Nails. I'm always missing nails. Give me just a minute, guys. All right. I made like a hundred freaking nails. So we're going to put a compressor right here. I think that's a really good spot for that. And then I wonder if I can put... No, I can't put a cutter underneath there. Can I put a spike floor? I can. Is there anything else that I could put there? I doubt it very seriously. So let's do the spike floor right there. All right, so circular, a couple of pendulums to knock people off. Let's upgrade these because you know the zombies are either going to try to burn them down or they're going to try to explode them. And I don't want them to do either one of those things. Um, and then to upgrade the traps, of course, we're going to need electricity. All right, so that's all of that. Now we can begin working on our shredders. Now, because I have the wall up, I can't get these like uber, uber close. If I unsnap them. Oh, wow. Okay, so I can go there. How far to the wall can I go? I, there. Can I put another one? Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Can I get two side by side? How close can I get them? Um, let's leave a little bit of a gap at least. Say, right there. Okay, so can they get through there? Um, I feel like these are too close. As much as I don't want to demolish them and waste resources, I feel like that's way too close. I probably should have built it from this side so I could actually see, but obviously... Um, oh, dang it. I did the wall. <laughs> All right. That's that's the, the, the drawback of building in nice, tight spaces. So build... Oh, 
Can we get a snap, please? Uh, snap. There we go. Go on and upgrade that. All right. So, shredder. We're going to want it there. We're going to unsnap. We're going to put that one there. And that one there. So they can get through there. It's not sticking out. I think that'll work. How many more trap machines do we have? Two? Very good. Very good, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can get these next ones in here. There's that one right there. Let me get out of the way. And then... That one right there. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That is one deadly corridor. Now, I'd like to make... um. Tell you what, what, what other kind of traps do we have? What could we put down here? Now, I know I want to put a ballista down at that end. And we are going to do spikes again. Um... I guess I could try putting in a meat mallet. So we're going to need some iron ingots, uh, some lump, some planks. Oh, did you decide to come try everything out? Well, it definitely knocked him off of there. Well, thank you for coming and helping me test out my traps. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, so we're going to need planks, we're going to need iron ingots, and we're going to need four, maybe four trap machines. What time is it? Eight o'clock. I think we still have time. All right, guys, I will be right back with you. All right, we have everything that I think we need. Also, I grabbed enough stuff to do lights, so let's go on and do some lights. Uh, it's going to be a necessary thing, so let's put one right there. One right there should do it. Mm, what am I missing? Leaves, of all things. That's fine. That's, of all things. That's fine. I'll grab some leaves when I get some time. I did make our trap machines, and I believe that we are ready. So what I decided, what I think we're going to do is we're going to try to put down one of these, a meat mallet. Uh, go on and turn snap back on. So it goes, I think it comes towards me. I, I think, if not, we're going to have to turn it around. And then I want to make one of these grinders because we haven't tried that before. And then finally, you guys, you guys, you guys already know what we want. You got, don't, don't you already know? <laughs> you should already know what we want. All right, so we're going to put one right there. And then we're just shredders go burr. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to put one right there. And buddy, if y'all make it through that shit then you know what i just i just give up you know what i'm saying i just give up we'll just reload that uh reload that uh reload that um reload that <laughs> you need reloading i guess not all right so the other thing i thought of was after we talked about all that shit about the bridge i, I just realized that the bridge is not going to work because I don't have, like, pendulums and stuff over here yet. But we may be able to just... You know, for right now, we're probably going to keep it like it is. Oh, also, another thing that I wanted to do... We're going to need another trap machine, of course. Uh, let's go on and do... Uh, turn snap back on. So we're going to put... Um, a foundation there. And then we are going to do a solid wall. 
right there where um oh shoot gotta grab some trim stone anyway uh, i want to put a ballista right here and we're gonna need another trap for that and i'm gonna need um gonna need some trim stone so it's nine o'clock gonna need some trim stone i'm gonna need some leaves and we're gonna need another trap machine All right, so that's done. And then I think I can get this built without having to actually get up there. So the idea here is that we don't want to be able to see the zombies out in the field. We only want to be able to see them coming straight down the path so that that's the only way that we have to actually... Uh, fire and it should help reduce ammo all right so i grabbed some ballista bolts while i was gone i also grabbed some uh some leaves because yeah i was an idiot and forgot to get leaves uh the first time that i went so the ballista is full everything is upgraded and the last thing that we need to do, I believe, is put in some lighting, which is what the whole thing with the leaves was. So let's put... Uh, we'll put one right there. Come down a couple. Put another one. Come down a couple. Put another one. Come down a couple. Uh, that's fine. I probably ran out of uh, leaves or something, but that should be plenty enough to light it up, and then I'll I'll light it up again after we're done. I also, oh man, need to make uh, at least some base spikes. Uh, my brain is tripping. Uh, that's enough to do like 11 of them. So let's go on and uh, lay some of these out really quick. All right, I believe that is it. We're going to put a couple more down here. I noticed that they were, like, climbing the stairs at some point. Also, I'm still having that leveling issue over here. I had to unsnap a couple of things and then realign it. But you know what? That's fine. So, again, it's the same general idea. They come down through here, and they just have to zigzag down through there. It slows them down. It does extra damage to them, and it's... I find it's definitely worth it. I definitely want to expand that out. Um, I would like to, like, take it out and maybe go into, like, a candelabra type thing or even make it a longer zigzag that they have to come through. Anything, anything to, to hold them up and do even more damage. All right, guys, so this is the end of the episode. It is 2200. I've got two hours of in-game time to clean up before the horde gets here. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. You already know what it is. If you like what you see, if you like what you saw, just hit the big red subscribe button, man. And you'll get crazy, crazy vids every day long. And every time you hit the like button on one of my videos, a baby somewhere in the world stops crying. Not necessarily because you did it, but there's babies stopping crying all the time. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Episode 15 for what? Horde Knight and the new Horde base. See you then, guys.